Let us define problem statement to get an overview of basic transformations using Spark SQL. Even though we will be trying to solve this problem, we will be touch basing all the important aspects of standard transformations that can be performed using Spark SQL. The problem statement is nothing but get daily product revenue and this is how the business requirement will be. From this business requirement, the technical spec will be created. As part of the technical spec, we will have the table names, column names, the relationship between the tables, so and so forth. So in this case, uh, we can solve this uh, business requirement using two datasets. They are nothing but orders and order items. We have following fields in orders, order ID, order date, order customer ID and order status. Order ID is the primary key for orders. Order items have these six fields, order item ID, order item order ID, order item product ID, order item quantity, order item subtotal and order item product price. Order item ID is the primary key for order items. When it comes to multiple tables, typically we will have relationship between them. In case of orders and order items also we have the relationship. The relationship is nothing but one too many between orders and order items. Which means for a given order, there can be more than one items also. If you think from Flipkart or uh, Amazon perspective, as part of one order, you might want to place multiple items. For example, if you are trying to purchase items for your home theater, you might have TV, you might have HDMI cables, you might have 3D glasses, if it is a 3D TV, you might have sound system, so and so forth, all bundled together in one order. So that's where we have one to many relationship between orders and order items. When it comes to primary keys, I have already emphasized on them. Orders.orderID is primary key for orders. Order items dot order item already is foreign key to orders dot already. Earlier I have emphasized on primary keys. Now I am talking about the relationship between the two datasets. So the way they are related is by using orders already and order items dot order item already. So it is very important to understand this relationship because when we want to join these two datasets, we have to join based on these fields. At times you might join orders and order items with order ID in orders and order item ID which is not correct. Order item ID is not related to order ID. You will see incorrect results. You have to use order item order ID which is foreign key to orders order ID to satisfy the join condition between orders and order items. Otherwise you will see incorrect results or you might even see syntax errors. By the end of this module we will explore all standard transformations and get daily product revenue using following fields. We want to see order date and order item product ID because we are saying daily product revenue, daily is derived from order date and uh, product is derived from order item product ID which is nothing but this one. Date is coming from this and hence we have to join these two. And then finally using order item subtotal which is nothing but this one. By applying aggregate function such as sum we want to get the revenue for given day for given product. When it comes to the revenue generating orders, only complete or closed orders are considered to be revenue generating orders. We have to filter out all the other orders with uh, other statuses such as pending, cancelled, etc. So this is about the problem statement. Now let's get into the details with respect to standard transformations and then we will see how they can be leveraged to solve the problem statements like this.